We're putting one pound of ground turkey into our mixing bowl. We're gonna add one cracked egg directly on top. We're gonna go about a fourth a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and that is gonna be a binder that holds all of this together. Get in there with your hands. We're gonna mix all of this up. We're gonna break that egg up, mix up some of that Parmesan cheese, just like that. Let me get some fresh gloves. We're gonna season this generously with some salt. I'm gonna hit it with that black pepper. I'm gonna use some granulated garlic. We're gonna do about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And for color, we're gonna add some smoked paprika. This stuff is so good. Get back in there with your hands. It is so much easier to do it with your hands and it's fun too. I just like that cold turkey on my hands. Just feels super cool. Look at that, you guys. We got our salmonella snowball. We're gonna go directly into our greased cast iron skillet. Now we're gonna push this down. We want a nice uniform layer all over. Take my gloves off for this next part. We put a little parchment paper on top and we're gonna get our burger press or bacon press, whatever you have, and we're just gonna smooth this out. If you don't know what we're making, we're making a keto-friendly turkey pizza crust. Our oven is preheated at 350 degrees. We're gonna throw this in for about 20 minutes, come back and add some toppings. All right, it's been 20 minutes and our turkey crust is nice and crispy. We are gonna add our favorite Little Italy pizza sauce and we're gonna spread it with our little spurtle tool here. Take our oven gloves off here and we're gonna add our mozzarella cheese right on top there, spread that out. And we're gonna put my all-time favorite pizza topping, pepperoni on top. We are gonna get some of these fresh mozzarella balls. Just break them up, squeeze them. You're just gonna sprinkle these like that. We're gonna add some color here with these banana peppers. I love banana peppers. These ones are a little bit sweet with a little bit of heat. My wife's favorite pizza topping, black olives. Sprinkle a few on there, maybe a ton on there. She loves black olives. Of course, we're gonna to top it with some Parmesan cheese. This is gonna hold everything together. So technically, this is like a four cheese pizza. We're gonna pop this back in the oven. It's only gonna take about seven or eight minutes. Come back and have some delicious turkey crust pizza. All right, our pizza is done. Our cheese is melted and our crust is crispy. We are just gonna use our little pizza cutter here. This cuts through like butter because this is a meat crust. You guys, like I said before, this is perfect for anybody who's keto, anybody who's on a diet, gluten-free, you name it. Nice big slice out. Look at that crispy, beautiful crust. This thing is super hot, but we're going to give it a try. It's so good. 